I cannot see. The guy in front of me, he went in and I went follow him and that's when that happened. What happened was a crash in the middle of an intersection and the driver says it's because he couldn't see the traffic light covered in snow. Good evening, I'm Chris Flanagan. And I'm Lee Jordan. We've told you about these LED lights that just don't get hot enough to melt the snow. This dangerous problem became increasingly obvious over the last two days. Our cameras caught drivers just blowing through snow-covered red lights yesterday. And News Channel 5's Paul Kiska came across that accident today. Paul, it's really a scary situation. Lee, it really is. And I've seen a lot of close calls in the last 24 hours, especially when you have a snowstorm like yesterday, when the, when the snow was just blowing sideways and getting really up into those LED traffic lights. They're not hot enough to melt that snow. That leads to crashes. It's been happening around the nation. Now it happened in Cleveland. So cold again today, there are still many snow-clogged LED traffic lights all over Cleveland and surrounding suburbs. Right through a red light. In previous stories, including just yesterday, we saw drivers blowing right through snow-covered LED red lights. So you knew this was bound to happen. A tow truck driver ripped the front end off this car today at West 117th and Berea Road. And the light was covered with snow. Orlando Rivera said he followed traffic through the light, but the snow-clogged light was actually red. He struck this car. No one seriously hurt this time. And I still hit him because uh, the, the light was still covered with snow. And the city just come over a few, couple of minutes ago and clean him up. You always have uh, mishaps of what color the, the signal light is whether it's red or green because of the snow. Hafa Assad has seen many close calls from his car lot at West 117th in Triscuit. He says unlike power outages where people can treat the intersection as a four-way stop, snow-clogged LED lights are deceiving. The green hue shines through while the darker red gets buried during wind whip snow. The red is uh, usually brighter than the green, but it's very hard to determine. Incandescent lights hit 90 degrees, melting snow, but LEDs stay cool. Snow sticks. Brook Park tries to clear snow from lights and is looking for other solutions. Such as putting a heating element into a traffic light. I talked to GE today and that's on the drawing board to create a device that does that. And that's Dave Burns, safety director for the city of Brook Park, where they are being proactive, at least trying to be. States do not mandate or force cities to use LEDs. Cities choose to use LED lights because they save money on the electric bill. Live downtown, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Paul, your stories have really gotten the attention of lawmakers in D.C. Well, as more cities go to these LED traffic lights, uh, more people are talking about this. And today, our congressman here from Northeast Ohio, uh, Jim Renacy, he actually sat down and watched our stories on this at Newsnet5.com. He took a look at some of those close calls and what's been happening. He gave us uh, this statement, which reads, in part, though energy-efficient LED traffic lights are cost savers, it is evident that there is reason to be concerned. As a former mayor, I'm encouraged to hear that local governments are dedicated to improving policy. Public safety. I thank Channel 5 for raising awareness about this important issue. Meanwhile, the city of Cleveland got back to us and they've told us what some other cities have told us recently treat these intersections as four way stops in that situation, but that's easier said than done. Yeah, really have to be cautious. Paul, thanks for that update.